In the previous episode of All IndyCar, I talked about the career of Davey Hamilton and his admirable story on and off the track. Today we talk about Townsend Bell, a man with one of the most forgotten stories in motorsports history. Welcome back to All IndyCar, the motorsports history show looking at the most interesting stories in American open wheel racing. Townsend Bell was born April 14, 1975 in San Francisco, California. Townsend Bell had raced in carts, skip barbers, and formula dodges until 1998 when he ran in the Barber Dodge Pro Series for the first time. His 1998 season wasn't that good. For some reason, he didn't attend the races at Grand Rapids, Mid-Ohio, and Road America, which obviously crippled his season. His only highlights of this year include a podium at Atlanta and great finishes at the Laguna Seca races. Besides these, however, 1998 would be pretty bad. 1999, on the other hand, would be a much different story. With eight top tens, four podiums, and a win at Lime Rock Park, Townsend Bell would finish third in the 1999 Barber Dodge Pro Series standings. He then moved over to Indy Lights for the next year with Dorcott Racing. The 2000 season would be an amazing rookie year. Ten top tens, eight top fives, six podiums, and two wins. Townsend Bell finished second in the points that year, only being beat out by future six-time IndyCar champion Scott Dixon. 2001 would be Bell's great shot at the title that year, and he took that opportunity. He never finished worse than eighth in 2001 and grabbed six wins. When the Indy Lights Series raced in 2001, there's a 50% chance he was going to win and a 75% chance of him finishing in the top five. That's a hit rate that some of the best seasons in motorsports can't hold a candle to. With the Indy Lights title to his name, Bell made his cart debut at the Curse 2001 American Memorial at the Lausitz Ring for Patrick Racing. He also raced in the Rockingham 500 later that month where he'd grab a 12th place finish. 2002, he would continue to race with Patrick Racing, but to say this season was disappointing is an understatement. A best finish of 4th wouldn't cover up 5 DNFs in the first 9 races that year. After the 9th race of the IndyCar season at Cleveland, Patrick Racing would replace Townsend Bell with Oriole Servia. Townsend Bell was avid IndyCar ride for the time being, but he would find stability in the F3000 series. Driving for Arden International, Townsend Bell was teammates with Bjorn Vernheim, someone who deserves his own video in the future. While Vernheim won the championship that year in dominating fashion, Townsend Bell only got a single podium at the Hungry Round and finished 9th in the points. With the struggles Townsend faced in the 2003 F3000 season, he decided to go back to basics, returning to the IndyCar scene the next year. Townsend Bell would race in the 2004 IRL season for Patrick Racing, where 9 starts he would get a best finish of 5th at Nashville. Unfortunately, Townsend just never got any chance to race full-time in IRL. 2005 would see him only race at Michigan, where he didn't score a very good finish. He then moved over to Vision Racing where results didn't improve either. In 2008, he was given a chance to run part-time for Dreyer Reinbolt where an inconsistent season had a thin silver lining with an 8th place run at Richmond. Unfortunately, he was let go by Dreyer Reinbolt but then signed for KV Racing to run the 2009 Indy 500. He would finish 4th, the best ever finish for Townsend Bell. From 2010 to 2015, he raced for KV Racing, Dreyer Reinbolt, Schmidt Peterson, and Panther Racing. This cycle was broken in 2016 where he was given a shot at Andretti Autosports. This would be his greatest shot to win the Indy 500, but after a pit road incident with Ryan Hunter Ray, this dream came to a crushing end. After this, he retired from the world of IndyCar, but he has found amazing success in sports cars, including a win at Le Mans in 2016 and a competitive stint in the Aim Vassar Sullivan Lexus and IMSA. Townsend Bell has also become a color commentator for NBC, covering IndyCar, IMSA, and even doing a few F1 broadcasts in 2016. The career of Townsend Bell is one that most don't know of. They usually just see him as a commentator and nothing else. Most don't know the struggles in IndyCar and F3000. Most don't know about his Indy Lights title and his success in the Barber Dodge Pro Series. Most don't know the story of Townsend Bell, and hopefully with this video, I've shown you that there's more to this man's career. 